Hello everybody, Good Movie Surplus here, and today I want to show you the difference between a Type CE respirator and a British small box respirator. So the British SBR was of course made by Britain during the First World War. These were actually introduced after the PH gas hood and the large box respirator. These were later sent over to the US to have them kind of copy the mask, which is why we end up with the Type CE respirator. Now there are a few differences on these masks, which I will get to later in the video, but that's just a short brief history on the masks themselves. So just glancing at them, you can't really tell the difference all too well, although once we look at them in closer depth, there are very noticeable differences between the masks. Starting off with the first very noticeable piece is the exhale and intake valve right here. So as you can see on the SBR, it is just a straight tube that goes out and then has two separate tubes for the hose and the flutter valve. Well, on the Type CE, it kind of angles down in a way and it has a flutter valve guard. Now the flutter valve guard was actually on one of the first uh, models of the SBR. The SBR did have a flutter valve guard, but it is very uh, bulky and it gets in the way when you're trying to move your head around, which is why in this model or later models, they ended up removing it. The ones that the US were sent had the flutter valve guard, which is why we see the Type CE having the flutter valve guard. The other differences is the eye lenses. The eye lenses on the SBR are made of celluloid, which was very commonly used throughout World War I. Although the US, when they made their iteration of the mask, they used glass. Another difference is actually how the hose is attached to the mask. Right here on the Type CE, you can see that it has just your standard tape, which also comes in this envelope in case it comes undone or to replace the hose. While on the SBR, you have this metal wire that holds or secures the hose to the mask itself. And with the SBR, you also have the rubber lining that is on the inside of the mask, also coating the outside of the mask seam right here. Although it is a little bit hard to see as this mask is not in the best of shape. And on this mask, it does not have that rubber coating. Now we'll get to the differences between the bags because the bags are slightly different. First off, you actually have these snap buttons on the SBR's bag, while on the US one, you have the US push buttons. And so the clip right here to kind of shorten the gas mask bag strap, you actually have this little leather tongue piece right here. This gas mask bag also has square rings to hold this string on that you would tie around your back, and the string also goes up here and connects. While on the US gas mask bag, it just kind of ties around, and it has D-rings instead of the square rings. But those are the real major differences between the SBR and the Type CE. A lot of people do get these masks mistaken and mixed up for each other because they do look very, very similar, although they are very different from one another. I do hope in the future to get actually one of the SBRs with the flutter valve guard, just so I can show you all a few of the similarities of why the Type CE looks like that. But until then, I hope to see you in the next one, and happy collecting.